Hello students, here I am giving you assignment to solve few sums. Let us see. First question is find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient that I have already shown in the earlier video. Now which are the questions? Let's see question number one. Px is equal to 6x square minus 11x plus 5. Another question, Px is equal to 3x square plus 5x minus 8. Third one, Px is equal to x square plus 4x minus 21. Fourth one, Px is equal to 4x square plus 9x plus 5. Fifth one, Px is equal to x square minus x minus 6. Next one, that is sixth px is equal to x square minus 81. Seventh one, px is equal to 4x square plus 9x plus 5. Here in all this given polynomial, in all these questions, you have to first find out the zeros with the help of factorization. After that, you have to show the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient by the formula that is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a and alpha into beta is equal to c upon a as well as whatever the values of the zeros you are getting by the factorization method those two values you need to do the sum and product and then you have to compare and you have to verify the answer. Second question find the zeros of the given polynomial the sum of the zeros and the product of the zero of the quadratic polynomial. The quadratic polynomial is given. You have to find out the sum of the zeros. Means if two values that is one zero is alpha and another one is beta. Then you have to go for alpha plus beta with the formula and alpha into beta. Or either you can go with the alpha plus beta and the values that is alpha and plus beta that you can add. Or you can multiply and you will get the answer. Anyway, you should get it. The quadratic polynomial is Px is equal to 3x square minus x minus 4. Next, obtain a quadratic polynomial with the following conditions. That question number 1, the sum of the zeros of the given polynomial would be minus 3. And the product of the zeros will be minus 4. You have to find out the quadratic polynomial from which we are getting this answer. Sum of the zeros minus 3 and product of the zeros minus 4. Second question. The sum of the zeros is given 1 upon 3. And the product of the zeros is given 1 upon 2. You have to go with the same way. Third one. The sum of the zeros is equal to 2. And the product of the zeros is equal to minus 3. Students, you have to solve all these assignment sums. And if you have any difficulty, you can ask me. So I will show you the method to solve this.